But I know between uh, 1960 and <coughs> 68, they stopped making uh, the Gibson Les Paul. So in 68, they came out with this again. And that's why these, I'd say this year has become pretty collectible. Because it's the first year back. Now, they were called the fretless wonders. So usually they came with very low frets. So most guys refret them. Uh, but there's certain qualities that I look for. You know, it has the nylon saddles, which don't, I don't, I like actually. Some guys don't really like them. Um, these are patent sticker pickups, they're called. So it's after PAFs, the magnet's a little different. Um, now, when you're looking for this guitar, there, there's the big three or four things I look for. You know, you gotta make sure that it's a one piece neck. You really, you check the serial number. But it, you check it's a one piece, uh, one piece body, sorry, and then a one piece neck. And the diff how you can tell is that there's a seam usually going down the headstock, and you can tell if it's a three piece neck. Now, a one piece neck and a one piece body is obviously going to, it's it's you know it's made very well. And then if you can find a light one, that's also an advantage. There's an, two other little things that I look for. There's a dot over the eye. The early ones have a dot over the eye. Uh, some of some of them don't. Um, thinner headstock. There's a thing called a volute, which is a bump usually that they put on in 1970 to support the neck of the guitar. So anything that's why you see 68s and 69s going for a lot more than a 70. You know, if you look on certain websites, it'll go type in 69 or 68. There's a big price difference. But even the 69s have gone up a, a bunch too. Um, really great guitar. You know? I mean, this this in a Marshall sounds amazing. You know, um, one of my fav favorite.